Introducing Ripple Fidget Spinner. All right, story time. So a few years back, I had this crazy idea of making a silly website. So I made RippleFidgetSpinner.com. So if you know the company Ripple, it's pretty famous in the cryptocurrency world. Uh, it's one of the oldest blockchain projects that's still active. Uh, and it's received a lot of flack because it's uh, uh, essentially a centralized network pretending to be a decentralized network. It's all owned by one company and they're actually being sued by the government this year, which is kind of crazy. Uh, but yeah, a few years back, I just thought, wow, their logo really looks like a fidget spinner. And that was the year that the fidget spinner really took off, you know? It's like you couldn't go anywhere without seeing people with the fidget spinners or people handing them out at events or going to your local gas station or selling them by the box load. So I just thought, oh, this would be kind of hilarious if I made it, ripplefidgetspinner.com. So I got the website all set up, beautiful graphics. I even got a, a wonderful picture of their founder. And uh, I set it up so it actually could accept XRP for fidget spinners. I was selling fidget spinners for Ripple currency. I thought it was hilarious. Fidget spinners account for 98% of imports and exports worldwide. I, I just kept the site up, never really thought much of it. A few days ago, I get an email saying that the lawyers at Ripple are issuing a cease and desist on me because of a copyright claims and they also claimed that I was frauding their customers and that I wasn't a legitimate business. I was getting people to send me their XRP for no reason. <laughs> I beg to differ. If someone sends me XRP, I send them a Ripple fidget spinner. Uh, so I, I obviously uh, contested this with my hosting company and I told them, guys, look, I'll even show you the email. Is their logo, is it or is it not a fidget spinner? Because if it is a fidget spinner, I will take the site down immediately, is what I said. I heard nothing back. And then 48 hours later, they didn't just take down the Ripple site. My hosting company took down every site. I had dozens of sites down, e-commerce stores down, my client websites that I'm hosting them at a premium price down. Everything is down all over a fidget spinner, a fucking fidget spinner. So I was angry. I was livid. So I, I get I get Bluehost's support on the line. Yeah, I use, I, I've used Bluehost for years. I get them on the line. I was like, guys, what the heck? My site has been taken down over a fidget spinner. And they're saying, oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't have the ability to reactivate your site. It was taken down for fraud. And it has to go to the fraud department. And I just, I couldn't stand this. <clears throat> so what I did was I just opened as many chat windows as I possibly could with them. At one point I was wasting like a dozen employees time for an hour. I had a dozen employees all in chat the different different chat windows for an hour and eventually after wasting their time so much they they reinstated my websites uh and it seems that things are good for now so now i'm wondering what to do it's like should i keep the ripple fidget spinner site up should i take it down i think i'm just going to modify it and just make it obvious it's just like not affiliated with Ripple, the company that's being sued. We racked our brains for a solution to the logistical challenges associated with putting a fidget spinner in every token holder's hands. Finally, we agreed on a design. This has allowed us to dominate the blockchain space for fidget spinners. So next time you have a lot of work to do, think of Ripple and learn what doing nothing can do for you.